What's up, y'all? Just got out the shower. Um, I have ten percent on my phone, so I really got to do ten minutes with Pootie. I can't go over that minute. So let's get started. Let's um, go. I'm finna pray. I got. One, two, three, five things wrote down. All right, let's pray and then get started and set the timer. Father God, thank you for this precious day. I ask that you intervene in this live. Thank you for all these beautiful people visiting, seeing, and here for you, Jesus. We here for you. We love you so much. Please intervene in my mouth. May this be an encouraging live. May I be respectful of others and myself. Father heaven, may I spread love. And also, may your will be done. I love you so, so much, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. All right, we have to get started in this joint. <laughs> uh -oh. I just said I'd show I had to wipe my face. All right, so, timer. I'll finish speed talk. I was gonna cook me some food, but I, I can't. It's okay. All right, so now I'm cleaning up and shit. All right. First thing I got wrote down. First of all, thank y'all for coming back. Thank y'all for real. It's first snap, guys. Here, hold on. I can't come to your house. If you don't got no snacks, I can't come to your house. You have to have snacks. Okay. All right, come on. All right, so everything has to flow okay so i wrote down everything has to flow okay so i'm not no internet person um i don't know if y'all noticed that or if y'all didn't but i'm not no internet person so when i'm talking and stuff it's like it has to flow everything got to be real it can't be like no fake nothing because i don't really do that so when i say something on the internet is real and it came original and it came like that um so yeah, I wrote down everything has to flow. Oh yeah, have boundary. Oh, that's on my next one. Oh no, it says, okay, so the next one, it says number two. It says, know your worth. Darkness is attracted to light. So you need to know your worth and have boundaries. So when you walking in this world, people could see that you light. People could see that you bright. You got a future ahead of you. We talking about you, we not talking about me. Um, People could see that. So you need to have boundaries in place and know how to say, no, I won't go. No, ho, I won't go. Comment below. No, ho, I won't go. Okay? So you need to learn how to like stand up for yourself or the world gonna eat you up. Have some boundaries and don't let people just take advantage of you because it's a lot of stuff going around. All right, baby. All right, I got me a piggy bank today. All right, next one. Oh, years ago. Okay, so years ago, I used to want, like, to see people do better. So I would, like, go out my way for people to... I would go out my way for people. Now, this is... You doing too much. You cannot do all that. You can't go out your way for people. If people don't want it for themselves, you cannot help them. If you don't see people trying, you cannot help them. If people don't ask for help, you cannot help them. Help yourself. We is at the point where you got to help yourself. Because if you don't help yourself and have, like, a way for yourself, then how you going to either be providing for others? You know what I'm saying? You got to have your own shit together. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully. This for me. This for everybody. I'm just saying some real shit. What was y'all talking about? Oh, wanting more for people. You got to want more for yourself. So, yeah, and don't be out here giving people nothing. People is grown as hell. They on that bitch. Everybody know how to gossip. Everybody know how to have sex and all that shit. They could get some money. They could do it. 
Ain't nothing wrong with them. Nothing wrong. All right, so the next one. Uh, making pretend. People being mad. Okay, so... Um, so, I'm going to talk about this person. Um, I knew them since middle school. Okay, so boom. Middle school, boom. High school came by, boom. 19-year-old, uh, 20s. I'm damn near finna be 30 next year. So, look. You just now coming back. What's up? What do you want? It's, it's And then it's like, respectfully. Because I'm not trying to be rude, but it's like people come to you. What do you want? What? You think I'm a dummy bitch? For real, do you? Cause I'm not I'm finna no, I'm not gonna ride out because I'm in a I'm in a better place where I don't even gotta ride out. I'm just gonna block you. So it's like it's people that see you shining and they come to you and ask you for some shit. Don't ask me. I'm ready. Right, I'm patiently waiting to tell people no. I'm patiently waiting for that shit. Don't ask me for shit. You a grown bitch. You a grown bitch in this world. Don't nobody owe you shit. You want something, go out there and get it. Don't nobody got to give you shit. The fuck you talking about? You grown as hell. You know I do everything else. You know I get on the internet. You could do it. Stop saying you can't do it. You could do it. I believe in you. Now let's go. Next one. All right, so. Oh, okay, so. So this week, last week, last week. Okay, so last week it was this little play. But the play, I didn't have my play money. I had my stash money for my house. So, you know, you got to have a savings for your house. You know, the house savings and shit. You're supposed to save money, emergency, all that shit. So, I went. First of all, it took me a couple of days to even go and do the investment. Because I was thinking like, damn, hold on. It was a profit. But, yeah. Okay, so, I went in my house savings and got the money. Now, I, you're supposed to have a couple different savings. Your investment savings, your house savings, and whatever personal savings. You know, I don't know. But I went in my house savings, grabbed the money, boom. So the money ended up getting tied up. I'm like, damn, I'm not even... Hold the fuck on. I need my shit. So it was looking like it wasn't finna work out. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. She braided my head too fucking tight. I got to get some of that spray away shit. Excuse my language. I gotta get some of that. But this kind of calmed me down. Okay, so it was tied up. I'm like, damn, bitch. It was three, I was mad for three days. Cause bitch, I was mad, I don't give a fuck. I don't like losing money. So it was an investment, it was a risk, but it wasn't the risk money. It was my house savings money. So that's why I was mad. So three things I learned is um, never dip in your house savings for investing i learned that so that's what i learned and then also i did take it slow it took me like three days <clears throat> bless me it took me like three days to bust that play because i was thinking like hold the fuck on and then i'm like shit fuck it risk take this risk but yeah that was but i learned though it could have been a thousand dollars that i lost you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna tell y'all the amount but it was worth it it was cool i was mad three days but i know not to never touch my house savings for investment savings you know what i'm saying so money management is like i love it now i fucking love it i love it i love to manage some fucking money for real it's so fun once you start getting into it it's so fun you just gotta start with little start with 10 start with five dollars create you some envelopes put your money in your envelope and just knock your goals out man come on now it's like we got to December to the end of the year. What you want to do? Write it down on your envelope. Stash it every day. And also, every check, put $20 away in your wallet. And then have some more from your, your check. And stash it into your envelope. Never touch it. And then pay your bills or whatever. Even though it's not going to be enough for your bills or whatever. You still... You're, you're doing management. You know, you're getting out the rat race. You know what I'm saying? I love the fuck out of this. And I hope everybody just get into doing some money shit for themselves. For real. And I had to learn this on my own. I, I don't, you know, I want to do my own. Then nobody teach me money management. I had to, like, learn it. And I follow good people on Instagram. So they kind of, like, it rubs off the people. So, yeah, that's what I learned about dipping in my stash. That's the five things. Um, 
right now i'm gonna tell y'all a story y'all i'm getting stalked but um i think it is getting to a different type of level though it's getting to like a bitch what's up you know what i'm saying so this week yeah i'm on some and um yeah so just be aware of your surroundings everybody's not blessed you know what i'm saying so stay prayed up and uh <clears throat> bless me jesus christ stay prayed up and just when you see people fall don't laugh at people just thank god that um all your stuff is in order um pray for them in your head that's all you really can do you can't like there's nothing you can do you know what i'm saying you got to make sure your shit in order you know what i'm saying by the grace of god you are still here make sure your foundation is in order make sure your house is in order then you can help others and stuff you know what i'm saying um another thing that i do is i tie every money that i get i give 10 percent 10 percent to my pastor so if i get like 300 dollars, that's 30 dollars to my pastor tied and once you start tithing though you can't stop if you stop your money gonna get fucked up so you need to keep keep that in mind you can't uh, stop tithing once you start but that's like money for god that's just showing him respect that you know what I'm saying you're grateful for him putting that in your pocket so that's another thing but yeah i'm glad um y'all tuned in um today's a great day i hope the best for everybody if you want through anything god bless you um, I'm doing mentorships, thousand dollars and one on one. It's real rare, but it's a thousand dollars, one on one, meet in person through that weekend. The next tier is a hundred dollars. That's Zoom, and that's when we zoom and talk and shit. You, excuse me, like, you talk about anything you going through. I help you with anything. I'm not saying nothing on the internet. I'm not posting nothing. I'm not saying anything. I don't care. I don't care. I don't really care about the only reason why I'm on the internet right now is because Jesus. I swear I do not give up about no internet. I swear I don't. I be mad. I today is the day I just started stop getting mad about posting on the internet. I don't care about no internet. I like to be shut shit down, close the door. So the the last tier is fifty dollars, and that's when we do a phone call. So we do a phone call, talk about anything. We could do talk about anything. Anything was on the hundred dollar one and thousand dollar one. We could talk about anything on the fifty dollar one. But my time is worthy. Um, quit trying to sneak in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, pay the price. You already know it's worth it. Stop playing. I'm not gonna yell at you. I'm gonna just block you, and that'll be that. You know what I'm saying? You need help. You gotta pay. You gotta pay for real. Just like me. I got my mentors. They ch they charge about six hundred a thousand 14 i know a nigga that's charging five thousand like it's levels for real so this little fifty dollar thousand dollar hundred dollars that's not really nothing it really ain't i swear it ain't but um god bless y'all um have a great day and yeah see y'all later namaste